Hey there, welcome back. So last time we made it so that when we have a match of five, like I'm going to get right here, a uh, color bomb appears. Now today we're going to make it so that when we make a match, or at least swap pieces with this, whatever color piece we swap with is, is going to disappear from the board. So I'll do blue. All the blue pieces are gone. And there we go. That time it even turned into a... Uh, uh, or a row bomb. There we go. Row bomb. So, um, stick around and let's dive right in. So, where we left off, we were making it so that we can have a color bomb appear when there's a match of five. So, currently, I have two here, two here, and if I move this one in. Okay. Sorry about that weird cut. So it's just in the scene now. I can't actually do anything with it. I mean, I can I can flip it, and if it makes a match, it's fine. But if I flip it into a space where it wouldn't make a match, then it's just going to flip back. So the functionality that we want, just to kind of lay this out here, is when we're switching pieces, we want to check to see um, not only if it makes a match, but if one of the pieces that we're flipping with, either the piece that we're flipping or the piece that we're flipping with, so either here to there, or here to there, we want to check to see if either of those is a color bomb. If the other one is a color bomb, then we want to find out which one isn't a color bomb, and then find all the pieces that match that color and set them all to be matched. Also, there's a situation that could arise where you have two color bombs next to each other. In that case, if you're flipping the two color bombs together, you want to take every single piece on the board, set it to matched, and then refill the board. So uh, that's what we're going to be taking a look at here today. So the very first thing we want to do is we want to open up the grid script, and I'm going to jump into distraction-free mode here. We want to take a look at when we're swapping the pieces. So if I take a look at the swap pieces method here, so we're passing in uh, a column, a row, and a direction that we're going to swap. So our first piece is uh, whichever piece is in that column and row, and our other piece is whatever piece is in column plus direction x, row plus direction y. And so that's allowing us to know if we're swapping left, right, up, or down. Um, now, what we want to do is say if first piece isn't null and other piece isn't null, so we're protecting, um, we're also going to check to see if they're not in the um, restricted movement, then we're going to store the information uh, that we have, and um, we're storing our info for the first piece, the other piece, um, where they currently are, and the direction. We're going to put our state into weight, and then uh, we're going to assign all of our pieces to be the first piece and the other piece. Then we're going to check to see, uh, we're going to move the first piece and the other piece. And then we're going to check to see if we were finding matches. Now, once we find matches here, so let's take a look at the find matches method. Um, it goes through all the pieces and um, sets them to be matched. And then we check to see if we should bomb any pieces. And what else? Find adjacent pieces. Okay. Okay, sorry for that weird cut there. So uh, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna create a helper method here. The first helper method I'm gonna make is going to find every piece on the board of a specific type. And the second helper method is going to go through every piece on the board and set all of every single piece on the board to be matched. So one is going to set all pieces of a certain color to be matched. The other is going to set every single piece to be matched. So I want to put those probably down here by my like damage special pieces here. So I'm trying to keep my methods kind of grouped together. And these are like the make bomb, change bomb, destroy match, check concrete, check slime, damage special. So it seems like this is kind of the area I want to have those methods in. So I'm going to create a function, and I'm going to call this match color, and I'm going to pass in a color that I want to match. Then I'm going to iterate over all of the rows and columns. So for i in width, for j in height, then I want to check to see if that all pieces uh, isn't null. So if all pieces ij is not null, um, so if there is a piece there, I'm going to say if all pieces ij 
dot color is equal to color, uh, then I'm going to make that one matched. So I'm going to say all pieces i j dot I call it match and dim. I need to check to make sure that that's what I called that. So in my find matches, so I did match and dim. <laughs> I also did add to array. Um, okay, one second here. Okay, so I'm going to uh, match and dim, and then I'm also going to add to array, and I want to add to the array all pieces, actually, vector 2, ij. I think that's the correct way to do this, and this should be double equals, because we're not changing a value. Oops, did not mean to do that. We're not changing a value. If anyone has a three-hole punch, please please return it to the office. Because we're not changing a value, we're checking a value. So let me just make sure that I'm doing this the way that I was doing it in the here. So match and dim, and then add to array. OK, cool. So that should be good. So that'll go through and find all pieces of a specific color, um, make them look like they're matched, which is what the match and dim does, and then also add them to an array. Now, I also want to do the same thing for the entire board. So I'll call this function clear board. And this isn't going to take any arguments. I'm just going to go for i in width, for j in height, if all pieces i j is not equal to null, then all pieces i j oops dot match and dim and then add to array vector to i j all right so that's going to go through all the pieces um, and make them all matched and then also add them to the current matches array so that's something i want to do the other thing I want to do here is go all the way back up to where I'm swapping my pieces. So I'm going to make another little helper method that's going to tell whether or not uh, one of the pieces is a color bomb. So this is going to be function is color bomb. And this is going to take two arguments. It's going to take um, piece one and piece two. So uh, if piece one dot color is equal to color or piece two dot color is equal to color, which is what I came up with for what the color bomb should be. And I think I use lowercase c. I'm going to have to double check that in a second. Uh, return true. Otherwise, return false. So let me double check that right now in my, let me save this, in my piece scene here when I did make color bomb. Oh, I used capital. So back to my grid. This needs to be capital C and this also needs to be capital C. So um, when we're swapping the pieces, we're going to assign the first piece and the other piece and then if they're both not null and if the, neither of them is in a restricted move spot, then I'm going to store the info. Before I store the info, I'm going to check to see if is color bomb. And I'm going to pass in uh, first piece, other piece. Um, I'm just going to put in a pass for a second here. So we're going to check to see if one of the two is a color bomb. And then we're going to need to do this color stuff. Uh, so, let's see here. What I want to do is if piece one dot color is equal to color. So if it's piece one, that's the color bomb. 
then I'm going to match everything to what the other piece is. Um, oh, no, not piece one. This should be first piece. If first piece dot color is color, then I'm going to match color of other piece dot color. Um, okay, and then else match color first piece dot color. So otherwise, I'm going to match everything to the first piece's color. Um, do, 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 do. Okay, and then my piece to swap back, or not my piece, my method that swaps things back, swap back. So if piece one is not null and piece two is not null, swap pieces, state move, check, move, check, false. So swap back. Okay, cool. I think this should work, but let's actually, let's test it. Um, this is only going to do the one color. It's not going to do uh, the entire board. So I'm just going to make sure I can get a color bomb here really, really fast. So I'll probably fast forward through this. Okay, so right away here, I can get a match of five there. So there's my color bomb. Now, once everything settles, I'm going to swap it. Ooh, all right. I broke something. What did I break? Um, match and dim. No 2D piece.gd. Okay. So all pieces ij dot match and dim. Is that not the right way to call that? What did I do in my find matches method? Find matches. Oh, it's match and dim all pieces. Wait a minute. Yeah, match and dim all pieces I. Oh. Ah, I see. Okay. So then, um, <laughs> destroy match, change bomb. Match color, there we go. So instead of being dot match and dim, it needs to be match and dim and then pass in all pieces IJ. Duh. All pieces IJ. All right, so I added that to my clear board and then I'm gonna have to change it in my match color as well. So match and dim all pieces IJ. All right, so I'm going to save that. And now let's try again here. So let's hit play. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, almost. All right. So, yeah, I don't see one right away. So I'm going to fast forward here again. OK, this time right away. So I'm going to swap these two. I'll get a color bomb. And then let's test it out with the orange. And there we go. All orange pieces are gone. Uh, it also, in this case, created a color. Oh, because I didn't match the color bomb. Haha. -ha. So I need to get rid of the color bomb as well. So what I'll do is let's get rid of that in our uh, swap pieces method when we are making the color bomb. Um, when we're matching everything of color. So we're going to match everything of color, and then we're also going to do, um, since this is first piece dot color is color, I'm going to do um, match and dim first piece. And then I also want to add to array vector to column row which is where the first piece is located at. Then I also want to do down here, match and dim other piece, and then add to array vector to column plus direction dot x, row plus direction dot y. Um, second parentheses. There we go. So I'm going to try this again here really quickly. 
I'll probably fast forward if I don't find a match five right away. And I don't see one, so I'm going to fast forward until I find one. Okay, so now we've got these five here. I'll swap in. There's my color bomb. This time I'll do blue. All the blue pieces go away, including the color bomb. So there we go. All right, so we've got our color bombs working here. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the uh, description down below, or in the comments down below. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter, Discord, where I'm chatting pretty much every day, and if I'm not there to answer your questions, somebody pretty awesome is usually able to step up to the plate. There's a really, really good um, community growing on my Discord there. Uh, there's a really quick message after this video, so stay tuned for that. And yeah, everybody out there, have yourselves a wonderful day. If you enjoyed this video, consider giving a like, subscribing to the channel, or telling a friend who might be interested. Also, please consider following me on Patreon. For as little as a dollar a month, you can earn access to tangible rewards, like early access to videos, backer-only videos and series, polls for future topics, streams, and even individual tutoring sessions. You can find a link to that in the description. And as always, have yourselves a wonderful day.